Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, no matter where you are today, currently even within this world, whether at home, whether in your car, whether at work, or waiting upon me, My presence is just a prayer away, my child, for I have promised when you call upon my name, I will be there, my child. Yes, for I am near to all those that call upon my name, and I will inhabit the praise of my people. Therefore, make your relationship with me your number one priority each and every day, and you will be empowered with my presence and equipped with my grace each day to overcome every challenge that you may face, my child. I know that there are times that you thought about quitting because of the disappointments and the betrayal that you have experienced. But now is not the time to quit as you are so close to your breakthrough and know that I have greater plans ahead for you. Forgive those that have let you down, because not everyone can see your potential like I do, my child. It doesn't mean that others don't need what I have placed deep down with inside of you, my child. No, on the contrary, the treasure that I have refined inside of you is so valuable to someone else, and I will use it for my glory and your good. Therefore, put your trust in me today. See, you cannot hang out with negative people and reap positive blessings, my child, for bad company always corrupts good behavior. Therefore, surround yourself with people of vision. People that are focused on me, my child. See, just as you desire divine helpers to come along your way, you are someone else's divine helper that others are praying for, my child. Yes, it could be just a word of encouragement that someone needs today. So remember all these things the next time that you think of quitting and remember why you started on the narrow path with me to start with. I, who started that good work in you, will finish it, my child. No matter what you are passing through today, remember, I already knew that you would be where you are today and can change any situation that was meant for your harm for your good. If you just seek me first and my righteousness, yes, everything else shall be added unto you, my child. Remember with me all things are possible. I want to do something great with your life, but you've got to learn to trust me. You've got to learn to forgive quickly. You've got to allow me to know that everything is in my hands and I have everything under control. Remember, time is in my hands. So trust me afresh today and know that I am for you and not against you. Be at peace this day, my child. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. When we turn to the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 28, it says this, Do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell. And also, when we turn to the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, and we go to verse 28, it says, Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom which cannot be shaken, let us have the grace by which we may serve God acceptably with the reverence and godly fear. For verse 29 says, For our God is a consuming fire. Now, I personally believe that when we as a church are balanced within our understanding of the love and the fear of God, and when they come into line, we will start to see revival in the church once more. Because according to 1 John 4, verse 17 to 19, it says, Love has been perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. 
because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves torment. But he who fears has been made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. See, love and fear are similar in that they have both are motivational. The love of God motivates us to obey God because we want to please him. The fear of God motivates us to obey him even when we don't care for God. See, uh, Jonathan Edwards has referred to this as an equalizing balance in the Christian's obedience to God. They are both necessary and important depending where we are in our relationship with God. He did not infer that one was lesser and one was greater. He did not say that the fear of God was no longer present. The fact is that unless we fear God, we cannot know the love of God. See, the fear of God is a normal and healthy response to God when our love is not completely perfected. We might have some concern as to what consequences God might bring upon our lives if we disobey him. If it was based on fear, then it would not be based on a trusting relationship. However, The fear of God builds trust and deepens relationship. Fearfulness destroys it, however. The love of God gives us a great affection for God, which again is based on trust. We expose ourselves to him because we have great confidence in God's care and guidance over our lives. We are willing to take risks because we trust him, even though what he asks of us seems foolish or dangerous. At times, we can trust God for a reward when right is done so that we will pursue the good path. Because of our sinful natures, we dare not say we do not need chastement. However, as we become trained, the need for this should be less and less. And although the love of God might increase to such a degree that the need for reverence seems overshadowed, it never is because we fear him now until we walk into the perfectness of love when we go to be with him. It's just like a relationship that a son should have with its father. Now, even even as any child should have a natural fear for their father. They might love him and know that he loved them, but it also has to have to do with respect. We must respect his authority as a father, as we are afraid of corrective measures that would be taken if something is done that is wrong. The same is true with our relationship with God. We stand in awe of him and his holiness. And because we do, we love him and we want to be close to him. We desire to love what he loves and hate what he hates and we want to live with an awareness that he is to be feared more than anyone else satan and people may destroy the body but god is a consuming fire who can destroy both soul and body in hell Only as we fear God do we truly love him. And only as that love grows will it guarantee that our fear of God is the rightful kind of fear. Therefore, precious saints, God loves you so much. But we also need to fear him that we may walk into the perfectness of that love that he has for us as it grows day by day as we go to be with him forever and ever. Let us pray then, precious saints. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, you are a good, good father. 
Your love and care is endless. You care more about our well-being than even we do. And no matter how much we worry over it, and you are all-powerful, able to protect us completely and fully from anything that might arise. Lord, we confess that we have forgot these truths at times. And we confess, Lord, that we are also prone to believe that we are alone and without any protection sometimes. But Lord, we know that this is a lie from the pit of hell and that we may even tell ourselves and it only works us up to worry and fear when we think that you are absent. But we repent of that worry and fear right now in the name of Jesus. And ultimately, we know it stems from not trusting in your goodness towards us. Therefore, help us us to believe and live out of the truth that you are always close, always protecting us, always watching over every step of our life. Therefore, Lord, we thank you for the great love that you have for each and every one of us. Lord, we thank you that you have not given us a spirit of fear. Therefore, come and replace our fear with your love and your love so that we may have a sound mind to live each day glorifying your name. Lord, today we reject the fear of the future for we believe that the future is in your hands. We reject the fear of evil doers for your word says, though an army in camp against us, our heart shall not fear. Though war rises against us, yet we will be confident, for he will hide us in his shelter in the day of trouble. He will conceal us under the cover of his tent, and he will lift us high upon a rock. We renounce the fear of Satan today, for your word says that he has already been conquered by the blood of the Lamb and the word of of our testimony. Lord, we come against every curse today. We break all generational curses of pride, lust, perversion, rebellion, witchcraft, idolatry, poverty, rejection, fear, confusion, addiction, death, and destruction in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We break off all spoken curses and negative words that have been spoken over our life in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we command all ancestral spirits of Freemasonry, idolatry, witchcraft, false religion, polygamy, lust, and perversion to come out now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We command all foul spirits broken today. We break the legal rights of all generational spirits operating behind the curse in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. You have no legal right today. You have no power today. Therefore, we render you powerless today in the name of Jesus Christ. You have no legal right today to operate in our life anymore. You will be gone now in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind you and rebuke all familiar spirits and spirit guides that will try to operate within our life from any ancestral lines in the name of Jesus Christ. We renounce all false beliefs and philosophies inherited by any ancestors in the name of Jesus Christ. We break all curses on our finances from our ancestors that cheated or mishandled money in any way in the name of Jesus Christ. We break all curses of sickness and disease and command all inherited sicknesses to leave our body today in the name of Jesus Christ. We break the power of the coronavirus right now coming against our nations, our cities, our loved ones against our bodies now in the name of Jesus Christ because through Jesus our families are blessed today our bodies are blessed today we renounce all pride inherited from the ancestors now be gone in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ we break all oaths vows and pacts made with the devil by our ancestors in the name of Jesus Christ we break all curses by agents of 
Satan spoken over our lives in the secret place in the name of Jesus. We break all written curses that would affect our life and be broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that what you are doing right now, and we just ask you, Lord Jesus, that you would send your Holy Spirit right now to fill us today. Replace all fear with your love, with your peace, and with your joy right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, that you would fill us overflowing with your righteousness, with your holiness today, as you fill us from the top of our head to the soles of our feet. Touch us right now in the name of Jesus as we submit to you, Jesus, Lord, as you become Lord over every area of our lives. Lord, I pray that you would touch each person from the top of their head to the soles of their feet right now. We break every hold of the enemy. Lord, I speak healing into their bodies right now. Divine healing right now. Divine peace to come into them right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, pour out your spirit. Baptize them in spirit and in fire right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come and touch your people in these uncertain times that they may have peace in you knowing that you are Jehovah Shalom. You are the God of peace. You are the Prince of Peace. Come and bring peace into their hearts and into their minds today in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray and believe. Amen. Praise the Lord, precious saints. And I also want to declare some prophetic um, words of knowledge. You see someone's leg being healed. Someone has pain or an issue within their leg. Your leg is going to be healed now as you place your hand upon that leg right now in the name of Jesus Christ. There is also someone that has very intense pain during their menstrual cycle so if you're a lady today and you're listening to this message and you always seem to have you know intense pain during that period of time maybe it's more than other ladies god is going to heal you right now so i want you to place your hand upon your womb right now and receive healing in that area right now in the name of jesus christ there's also somebody with an ear ache or ear pain i want you to receive healing to that area of your life right now in the name of Jesus Christ, receive it right now, receive it right now, receive it right now, receive your healing today in Jesus' mighty name. I also pray for someone uh, right now that you have an issue right now, an issue right now upon your, it's like your forearm, there's an issue with your forearm, so I'm going to declare healing over that area of your life right now, and if you have pain in your body anywhere, just receive your healing right now, place your hand upon that area of your life, and receive healing for that area now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I also hear the Lord telling me, uh, someone in particular, the Lord is saying, press into me, I know that the relationship issue at present and I am softening even hardened hearts of the other person in that relationship, my child. So the Lord is sharing that with me today for you. So receive that today. I also speak creative miracles over you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray and believe Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy coming to you all the way from South Africa. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Precious saints, if you've liked this today, we encourage you to send it to someone that is in need of hearing this message. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or go to our free website, repentancerevival.com Precious saints, I'm on my way to Zambia for God's glory. Let us believe as we pray for revival in the nations that God is going to ignite it. One day God is going to turn on that switch and somebody say hallelujah. People are going to want to come to that but I believe it's going to spread all over as the Lord keeps on showing me. It's not just for Africa. It's going to go to the other nations but it is going to be definitely ignited here first. So may the Lord bless what's going to happen. Then we're off to Namibia. Then we're off to Kenya. Then we're off 
to Uganda and wherever else the Lord leads before he sends me back home. It is all God's timing. Don't forget, we've got the 10-day fasting coming up. I've just submitted the program. It took a bit of time because it's so big, the program. It wouldn't allow me to submit it, but now it has. So you can read the program and you can get connected. And we're also trying to have an all-night prayer on the 15th. And that will be the start of the cross crossover into the new year, into the Hebrew new year. So we're trying to make this live also. So everybody that's doing the 10-day fasting program can start it off with an all-night prayer so that we can see revival come. Let it start with us. Let it start with you. Let it start in your household. Let it start in your marriage so that God can do greater things in this hour. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.